One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, rock. We're going to rock around ten o'clock tonight. Play the bad guys so Okay, we're doing something a little bit different today. Um, we're going to take a look at my cousin's HO scale model railroad. And that first shot there where we started out with the music, that was Mel's Diner from the movie American Graffiti. And here we got uh, Main Street, all the buildings. Let me go over there and you can see Franklin Iron and Metal. And behind that's the Strickland Propane, taken from the show King of the Hill. Propane and propane accessories. Alright, we're going to try some different angles of the uh, layout here. Bear with me, this is a new camera and uh, is learning here. And we come down to this end and there's a little gas station there. You see the train depot with the old steam engine sit behind it. This is kind of based on the city of Battle Creek. That's, that's where my cousin's from. And I'm going to go right around the end here. And we got a little uh, neat thing there in the corner. I don't know how well I can get it from here. But there's like an old abandoned railroad grade with a bridge going over the tracks down there. And we come down here. We got a little river. The bridge going over that. Over in the corner here, we've got a grain elevator. And the car shops at the uh, far end of the yard here. We'll work our way right around the yard. We've got a couple interesting locomotives sitting there. Take me a while to figure out this camera, but okay. I'm just going to try to get some different angles here so we can get a shot of this layout. It's got the Grand Trunk Bicentennial engine there, and a couple of my favorites, of course, the Ann Arbor. GP 35s. We get down to this engine and we have the engine repair uh, facility at this end of the layout. You see, it's mostly Grand Trunk. A little tower over there. there. Now now we're on the uh, the controls end of the layout, and uh, the owner here, Todd, he's going to do a little explaining here. Yeah, I've uh, been into model railroading since I was about seven years old, and uh, I got out of it for a long time, but I kept most of my old equipment. And about ten years ago, I started working on this layout, and I still had boxes and boxes of my old engines and control units. So at the time it made a lot of sense for me to just keep what I had um, as far as power um, and everything else was concerned. And that's been just fine for 10 years and the other night I was on eBay looking around and I've been thinking about taking the plunge into DCC. So I ordered this uh, MRC Tech 6, it's just your basic entry level uh, DCC controller. So everything you see here is going to be obsolete pretty soon. Now this is a very good pack here. Uh, I mowed a lot of lawns when I was a kid to buy this thing. And uh, these old uh, Atlas uh, block controllers, uh, once I get everything set up for DCC, uh, those aren't going to be necessary either. Same with this uh, pretty modern Tech 4 MRC unit. Anyway, that's uh, kind of the status of things down here right now. We're getting ready to convert to DCC.
All right, as I said earlier, uh, the layout is currently set up for DC operation. And there's the uh, DCC with sound Athern Erie Lackawanna SDP45 that I got in the mail just yesterday. And it will run on DC, although it has limited control and limited sound effects on the DC power pack. But anyway, just to show you, here it goes.
This one takes me right back to the old Conrail days in the 70s. I had to get a picture of that. Kind of wanted to show off his, his lighting on this layout. It's, it's uh, set up for night as well. So we're going to just do a little bit of shooting of this. Got the engine facility here all lit up. and Swing around here to the yard. Here's another view of uh, Nell's Diner at night. Don't mean to leave you folks silent here. We're just kind of giving you a look at how this uh, this all looks at night. Get another look at the controls here. At Christmas in 1975, Todd and I both got this train set as our very first HO scale train and uh, Todd still has his and we're going to do a little footage here of it. It's a Tyco uh, F9 engine and three passenger cars including a combination, a coach and an observation car. Runs halfway decent for an old Tyco. These certainly aren't anything realistic, but you can have fun with it. <laughs> I'm amazed how well it runs for as old as it is. Yeah. So it gets right around the track. I wouldn't want to be trying to drink coffee in the dining car right now. I don't think so. <laughs> I can't keep up with it here. Well, I forgot to stop at the depot. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky it doesn't lay on its we'll side. Make a quick little stop here. All right, and then. <laughs> 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 well, he can't quite line up the step box to freak people to get off. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Uh oh. I need to put down well, some sand. I think we might have derailed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's derailed. Still rolling? Yeah. Keep, keep it rolling. Yeah, it's rolling. The train's not rolling very good though. There it. you go. There she goes. 
got those little rubber grippers and they don't always grab very well. Uh oh. <laughs> got the conductor's got a headache now. Well, you know, they've been talking about getting this high speed Amtrak through here yeah. for years now. So yeah. here you go. Right. Here we go, guys. Don't mind the dizziness here from this one. <laughs> Just had to throw this in there, you know. <laughs> 